two piece letting me know what we need at the grocery store. So guys, we are back at Aldi. So if you watched my haul last week, you will know that I was really excited to grocery shop at Aldi. And y'all know we in a government shutdown. People gotta go into survivor mode at this point. But I'm just wanting to save money. Now I know at Kroger's right now that I can get chips for actually cheaper for $1.49 um, yesterday and today. But I'm curious to know what these um, barbecue chips taste like. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab those. Um, Tupi's going to remind me of what snacks we need. I'm going to cut the video. Whatever that beeping noise is extremely loud. I'll be right back. So these were good. Ava liked these. So I'm going to grab more of these. So these toaster tarts versus the pop tarts. There are no more of these at the house, so I'm actually going to grab two of these. These are a dollar and nine cents. Here, two feet. Hold that. Put it in the basket. So, um, like I said, these went pretty quick, so I'm going to go ahead and grab two of these. Ooh, I'm kind of interested in the brown sugar one. I think I want to get that one. So, we'll try one brown sugar and then one of the strawberries. Okay, so the granola bars were also really good. Um, they like those, so they don't have the regular chocolate chips. So we're gonna go with the variety pack: four chocolate chips, s'mores, oatmeal raisin, and peanut butter. So these are a dollar and fifteen cents. So Tupi, yes or no? Yes. Okay, Tupi says yes, so we're getting them. I don't know what I did to my Jiffy cornbread this week, but let me just tell y'all, my Jiffy was banging it was so good so i'm gonna pick up some more jiffy these are 47 cents each i think they're around the same price at the grocery store so at the grocery store at like walmart or Kroger. so i don't think there's a big difference but those are good but i'm really i've been wanting some pancakes i'm gonna give these a try for a dollar and 49 cents they're light and fluffy I'm gonna go ahead and give these a try for a dollar and 49 cents. So these were not good. We didn't like, I didn't like those. And I noticed that Tupi didn't really eat them either. She kind of picked at them. So I'm not gonna get those anymore. I don't need any canned goods. So we're gonna get off this out. I mainly wanna get some, uh, more meat the meat was really really good so i think we have enough chips like i said i just want to try the barbecue and see how those taste i'm kind of wanting to get these but i don't know how they would taste i'm not gonna waste an extra 89 cents today when i don't have to so these strips were definitely good um, I made chicken tacos with these, so I'm going to go ahead and grab two of these. So the price is $3.99, and then we'll grab another one. This one's $4.43. Do y'all be looking at these and be trying to buy the cheapest one? Because I sure do. I sure do. I don't care if it's like a three cents difference. I want the cheap one. <laughs> I'm cheap, y'all. Shit, who ain't? Okay, this one's 429. We'll stick with that one. And y'all, if y'all didn't know, I'm staying away from red meat. It makes me extremely sick. Um, I just I can't do it no more. It just makes I can't. It, I've just been so sick from it. I'm definitely getting some more pork chops. I wanna try the thin sliced ones with no bone this time. So we'll see which ones I'm gonna get. Um, I'm gonna look for a second and then I'll show you. All right, friends, so I picked up the boneless um, pork chops. And then I also, and those are $4.44. Those are kind of thick. I didn't get any thins, but I'm about to. Um, and then I picked up these like I got last week. These are $3.31. Again, my family absolutely loves them. And I see these. But 
I don't know. That's like a sword. I ain't getting that. I need to be able to see exactly what it's saying. I mean, that's is like sorted. I need to see what all the meat is. So then they have these thin slices. I did notice with the thick ones, I did have to cook it a little longer in the fry daddy. So I'm gonna go. I'm not the fry daddy. I don't know why I keep saying fry daddy air fryer. So I'm gonna go um, with the thin ones, and we'll go with the thin slice. I know y'all are like, that is so much pork. You gotta do what you gotta do, guys. Alright, and so another thing, the cheese was really good. We are almost out of the taco cheese. I did get the taco one, and I think I got the Mexican blend and the taco style. The Mexican, the taco style, we are almost out. So, so far, that's what we have. Last week, I spent $48, so I'm trying to keep myself around the same budget this week. Another item that I loved was the lemonade. I am almost done with it. I probably have a couple of more sips, and that's it. I really, really like this. So, this is $1.49, so definitely a good price on that. Alright, so I'm going to give this corn a try. Um, last time when I was in here, this lady shopping told me to try the corn. She said the frozen corn is absolutely amazing. So I'm definitely going to give it a try. It's the only one that I see. So I'm not quite sure on another one. Um, I want to get some shrimp, but it seems to be cheaper at Walmart. So I'm going to get my shrimp from Walmart. Um, it's about a dollar more here. So... They have a really good seafood section and frozen section. I didn't show this in the video last time because my video was absolutely so long. So anyways, I'm just looking at some more stuff over here. Tupi is directing me to this goddamn ice cream. Girl, y'all know how you start saying bad words and you barely move your mouth, but that's what she making me do, pointing to the ice cream. I'm not paying $5.85 for no bluebell. I'm sorry, not gonna do it. We can go to Kroger's and get some. I'm not paying $5. I'm sorry. $4.98 for the Gatorade. I'm going to grab these. I'm not sure if they're on sale anywhere else, but Ava drinks Gatorade. So I'm going to grab those. And then I'm also going to grab a couple of these for $0.87, cents, which seems to be like the price at all stores. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab three of those. So I definitely think the bugles are really good. I like these. I don't know the prices in the other stores, but they're $1.39. I like them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab those here. My phone died in the store, but here is everything from Aldi. So I got the Pop-Tarts, the Slim Jims, the corn, the three Gatorades, the raspberry lemonade, cheese, I got five packs of meat, which I'm really proud of. And I can't believe I spent the exact same thing as I got last week. But last week I only got two meats. But this one was ex more expensive. These were. Last week I got two of these and one of these chickens. So I did spend more, but I did get more. Um, and then I got the gators in the bag. The granola bars, cornbread. Cheez Its, pancakes, and chips and bugles. So, if you want to take a look at the meat that I got, but my total was $48, exactly what I spent last week. So, I was very happy about that. And then I wandered on over to Kroger's, and here's the madness from Kroger's. That's for my Dollar General if you saw those videos. But yesterday and today for the Sat Friday, Saturday digital deals, you have the Doritos. They're, they're $1.49 each. Um, so you can get up to five. We didn't have any juices, so I got the juices for the kids. And then I got the Kroger brand drinks. Those are $1.99. I still have Pepsis from um, Walgreens, but I will probably get some more tomorrow. This water was in my car already. I didn't buy that today. And I just got like fruit roll-ups. Um, I got rain some rice. I got ice cream. To be wanted ice cream. And I got canned vegetables. These are 79 cents. Um, more juices. I got this bottle for free. 
because I had a coupon for a free Playtex bottle, so I went ahead and picked it up for the baby. Um, I picked up me some dull fruit. I absolutely love these. They were two for four. I got two of them and I had a $1 off coupon. I picked up some lettuce, tomatoes. We're actually going to have, well, I'm going to have, I think they might have, um, where are they at? I hope they didn't fall out the bag. I bet you they fall out the bag. Where are they? We're going to have, I want chicken wraps, but I don't see the wraps. I hate it when I buy a lot of stuff and I put it in the back of my truck and it looks like the wraps are probably still in my truck. I picked up some Scooby snacks. See, um, if I wouldn't have been wanting to eat those right now, I would have been like, that was it. But yep, there's obviously a bag missing because I don't, oh wait, here they go. I'm like, where am I being wrapped at? So, I like these. So I'm going to make chicken wraps, and I'm going to put lettuce, tomato, chicken in there. And then they'll probably have chicken tacos. I don't know if they like wraps. But anyways, yeah, so that's Kroger's. I spent $50.31 at Kroger's, so definitely not bad. I needed everything. So, Aldi, I'm really happy. I didn't buy any meat at Kroger's, so this will last me um, pretty much all week. So, chicken wraps today. And then I don't know what else we'll do the rest of the week. But we'll definitely do like pork chops. They really like those. Um, I might go to Walmart and buy some shrimp and some ground beef. Um, I got a bit, I can get a better deal there for that. But yeah, and then the cornbread. Oh, y'all, I made some cornbread and it was so good. Yes. So yes, so that is my Aldi haul for the week. I am going to continue shopping there. And definitely, if you guys have not shopped there, definitely give it a try because... Y'all know too, because I really feel bad for everybody with this government shutdown and people working and not getting paid. I mean, people already are paycheck to paycheck as it is. And I cannot even imagine if I was not getting a paycheck right now. Well, I'm not even, well, I'm still on maternity leave, but I can just not imagine if my money was taken away from me like that. I just couldn't do it. So I really feel bad for everybody that's having to deal with that. And like, even if single moms are out there and what if you're, um, if you're getting child support and your, your ex was working at a place where it shut down and there's no paycheck, like you wouldn't be getting your child support. So I kind of sympathize, um, not kind of, but I totally sympathize for everybody that's having to deal with that. I'm not saying any of that is happening to me, but those are things that run through my head. Like, oh my gosh, like what if this happened? What if that? But yeah. So anyways, guys. Save where you can. I'm telling y'all, I'm doing it. I'm cutting out on a lot of name brand because I was wasting so much money. And I'm coming to realize that there's a lot of off-brand stuff that tastes just as good. So, yeah, I am saving every penny I can now. So, I hope that this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the minute back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.